This week in Bitcoin, Amazon wants to track you and TD Ameritrade placed a flag. Over the past few days, we learned about how Amazon wants to track your Bitcoin transactions, why TD Ameritrade planted its flag in the blockchain, and even how close the reality and are flying cars. These stories and many more were covered in this week's daily edition of Bitcoin in Brief. Nesting blockchain tracking Bitcoin. On Monday, we reported that online retail gains Amazon has optioned a Bitcoin tracking pattern. The company thinks by collecting data from a multiplier sources and finding a correlation with the transaction, it can link a specific Bitcoin address with a shipping address, an IP, an email, a bank account, or a social media post. And the pattern specifically notes the police forces may be interested in receiving such data. Meanwhile, Amazon's main brick and mortal competitor, Walmart, has Costing its own blockchain patent. The company plans a vendor payment sharing system that will automatically process payment for a products and service and increase the transaction and the blockchain. Worry giants are going drops. When highly centralized political entires to try limit the spread of a popular product or technology, it's uh, no surprise that nearby location will try to capitalize on such an opportunity. On Tuesday we reported about how this is seen now with the Bitcoin, with places like Malta, Hong Kong, Singapore and even Crimea jumping in while China, Russia and the European Union get left behind. The next day we reported that the tiny nation of San Marino also wants to take a part of a blockchain action. Crypto lakers, hackers and rappers. On Wednesday it was revealed that Wikileaks has switched its store to Canada's scum payments and its publishing arms has expanded its own Bitcoin and privacy system. The organization also attracted its form service provider. Coinbase has become an unreliable and even dangerous service, subject to arbitrary, non-transparent action as it merging with the US banking sector and is stated to provide information on the customers to the US government. It has become everything that Bitcoin was seized to stop. Additionally, covert were Snoop Dogg to perform an uncomplic ripple event, hackers blackmailing governments, a new crypto VC from by Anderson Horowitz and a vote against restoring persistent lost either. Big money wears big horn. The main focus on Tuesday was on a comment by John Proffer and a hedge fund manager that predicts the price of Bitcoin could rise to the least than $80,000 in the next couple of years, at a potentially as high as $700,000. When I think about the displacement argument, I start with gold. It's kind of silly. We are spacefaring. Digital source that we are still using a yellow metal as or no so wearing store or metal. At some point we are going to come up with a better technology for the for that and Bitcoin is first candidate. We will see it works, prefer said. Miles reported that the Chicago Borders Option Exchange wants to lose the minimum increment on its Bitcoin future contact. First ad in the blockchain. On Friday we reported about an alleged pump and a dump shame by a group of creators crypto influencers. A whistleblower says he was invited by a joint group telegram channel where he saw their supposedly incriminating messages. According to the screenshot, member of the group discussed how much cryptocurrency would be needed to control 25% of the trading volume, how long it should be held, and when it should be dumped. Additionally covered how TD Ameritrade claimed to have become the first company to embed an advertisement in a Bitcoin blockchain. According to Denis Karkos, uh, chief of marketing office at TD Ameritrade, there is no expectation beyond creating a little buzz for the brand and uh, enjoying the process.